Hi everybody, um, today I'll be talking about this cool little uh, xylophone from Thailand that I got from the library at Ball State. Uh, they have a few uh, non-European instruments there, so I was really surprised about it and decided to check it out. Um, I've also uh, hooked up Absinthe to the computer so that I can figure out uh, which subset of an equal temperament this approximates. Uh, this is a heptatonic scale, which is no surprise. And since there's eight notes on it, it plays its seven notes, and then it plays the octaves. So here they are. Four, five, six, seven, octave. So this is um, a very strange and very unequal scale, and I really didn't expect 28 to be a part of it, but um, that approximation has just come from me comparing sounds. Although you should know that probably some of the 28 approximations are off by, like, a fairly noticeable amount. I would say, however, that it seems to be a low number of notes that can contain this subset, so that really is helpful. Uh, 22 almost worked, but the fifth was wrong, because this has a narrow fifth and 22 has a sharp fifth. Um, so anyway... Uh, let's go through the intervals of the xylophone, and then we can compare them to the 28 equal temper intervals. Uh, the sense values, I believe, should be in the description. So, uh, here is the, well, scale degree 1, of course, is the tonic. Scale degree 2 is like a minor second. Scale degree 3 is like a very sharp minor third, but it, it's not quite a neutral third either. So it's a very unusual interval that you don't hear about very much. Um, next up, scale degree 4, is the tritone. And it's basically almost exactly 600 cents. If you're wondering how I measured the pitch for this, I used a 72 equal spectrum and just compared it note by note. In fact, some of the xylophone notes were even in between 72 equal notes a little bit, so I did some uh, messing around with the frequencies to get the scent values for those. Um, but yeah, scale degree 4 is the tritone. Scale degree 5 is a narrow fifth. So that's the reason why I looked at 28. It has a narrow fifth, and a lot of the other intervals work. And then uh, scale degree 6 is like a major sixth that's sharp about a third tone. So another kind of strange interval. Or maybe not even really a third tone. It's more like 35 to like 40 cents. So, so somewhere that's not quite easily described. And then there's a very wide major seventh. If you're not careful, you can think that it's the octave. But it's not. Um, and then the octave is here. It's slightly stretched by like 15 cents. So... Uh, that's the entire xylophone. So now let's compare it to uh, 28 equal. Uh, now, the scale degrees of 28 equal that closely match the xylophone are 0, 3, 8, 14, 16, 22, 26, and then, of course, 0 again, or 28, which is the octave again. Uh, so those are in terms of pitch classes. Uh, that means that it has uh, two small steps, uh, one middle step, one uh, slightly larger middle step, another uh, second size of larger middle step, and then two large steps. So there are five kinds of steps in the scale if you approximate it with 28 equal, and I suspect if you use a higher number equal tuning, uh, the steps would be even more uneven because some of them are similar but then just off of each other enough so that there's really not a recurring scale pattern. So uh, I'll play both of the scales, uh, the xylophone one and then the 28 equal one, and then I'll play them both together and you can hear how good the approximation is. So here's the xylophone one again. So hopefully those sound pretty alike. I think they sound basically the same. So 
So, yeah. Okay. Now let's go through the scale. Um, and I'll play both of these at the same time. So there you go. Um, the worst approximations are probably that of scale degree 3. You can hear the difference. You can hear that the 28 equal one is higher. Here, listen to the melodic difference between the two. Just a little bit higher. So you can hear that they don't quite match. Um, but they do sound like each other sort of in chroma. You can disagree with me there if you want. Um, okay, and then the other sort of bad approximation is the wide seventh which is sharper on the xylophone, because it is quite a wide seventh. You can hear the one on the real xylophone is slightly higher. And you can hear when I play them together, they don't quite match. So those are the only uh, real flaws in the approximations. Uh, all the other notes sound pretty much there. So uh, if you have any other suggestions for equal temperaments that uh, match this xylophone, I'd love to hear them. Uh, so thanks, everyone, for watching. Uh, hopefully I'll check out more instruments from the library and investigate what tunings they're like.